Now we're going to see a number of artist groups popping up, especially as we deal with German Expressionism. They're fairly common. And one of them is known as De Bruck, or The Bridge. And it's established in Dresden on June 7th of 1905. And this is a, move, a moment that is recognized as the birth of Expressionism. The name actually reflects the artist's youthful eager, eagerness to cross into a new future because, of course, things are troubled, and that's being very optimistic. De Bruck artists will work together uh, communally until about 1913, immediately before the war, before the members break out into their own separate paths. And they see their expressionism in direct contrast to French influence. Uh, so this is sort of a nationalistic look at art. The French, they hand, they look at Impressionism as a purely French movement. They're trying to create a purely German movement in the form of German Expressionism. They will oppose materialistic values of the bourgeoisie. And to subvert these values, they focus on the primitive. Uh, they admire the clear inner voice and emotional outsider status of Van Gogh. In other words, Van Gogh never actually is trained in the arts. And they look at his paintings as this wonderful example of a clear inner emotional voice, allowing your emotion to come out on the canvas without that filter of academic learning. They will make their money primarily through subscriptions that they will sell. So if you buy one of these subscriptions, uh, say for $100 or something like that, what they will do is at the end of the year, you will get a series of prints, uh, usually limited edition prints that were created by the artists. And that way, they have money up front that they can use to create their art and support themselves. Now, none of these artists are formally trained. Instead, they're focusing on autodidactic lessons, in other words, teaching themselves. In fact, according to one of the artists, Ernst Kirchner, he states, they're not influenced by the fashionable tendencies of cubism, futurism, etc. They want to be something different, and they see being untrained as the only way to get there, because otherwise they would fall into the same academic forms that we see elsewhere. 